Hello, this is Isaac. And in this uh, short series, I will show you the app that I've built using React with Redux and Elixir Phoenix as the backend. As you can see here, this is the app. Elixir Phoenix, I got your back. React and Redux, I got your front. So first of all, notice this is the app. I'm gonna go over the whole architecture in this part. So there won't be much coding, but it's very important that you will still listen. So for example, user, this is the home page, hits it. Uh, let's click refresh. And you see what happened here? So it's trying to verify the token because this is our way to check if the user is logged in or not. Because remember, APIs are stateless. So we need to check that. And this is the command line. This is the Phoenix app. So you see token is null. So the backend didn't receive any token. Therefore, the response is token field verification with status 406. Okay, quite simple. Now let's say I wanna start socializing and I'm gonna click on this button. Well, this is what's gonna happen. Let me first enlarge this a bit. As you can see, it redirects me directly to the login page. It doesn't allow me to go to this page because I'm not logged in. So first, let's uh, register the user. Let's register a new user. This is some client validation that I'm doing. Basically, so let's just put uh, joe at joe.com and notice, uh, I'm gonna call him Joe. Notice how simple the validation works, okay? See if I make one mistake, it's gonna let the user know. This is good user experience, but this is client validation. So let, let's assume the email is invalid. In that case, I'm gonna get email is invalid format and I'm getting it back from the API, you see API users. And if you'll take a look at the command line, we have here send 422 because the email is jojo.com. This is this is very nice. This is how you can deb debug if you get any errors. I mean, what's wrong? So let's clean this. Let's go back. So let's register a real user. Okay, we've been registered. Now this is the name. You see, we have a different nav bar for users that are logged in or not. Okay, so we can update our password very simple. Notice on the console.log always we have all these calls to the API. Every time I click update, again, back from the API, invalid password. If I'll put valid password, which was uh, 123456, then password should be at least six characters. And if I'll put this one, and I'm going to also get the other one. This is coming from the back end. Okay, very straightforward. And just for the sake of it, if I were going to change the password, you'll notice that it works. Update and it's working. Same thing here for updating the user. The name is Joe. If I'll put Joe one, here it is, Joe one. It's coming from back from the database. And just to prove it to you all, I'm just gonna refresh the page and it's still the same name. And I'll put it back. If I try to put a, a, a valid, a invalid email, again, so it's, it's, it's very secured in that aspect. It won't allow the user to put an invalid email or in fact, a name that a username that already exists. In fact, I have this email registered already. So I'll try to update. Email has already been taken. So you, you can imagine how well it works. So this is the update part. And uh, if you want to log out, oh, okay, no, notice that the resources, we have here the session storage. So when the user logged in or registered, I'm storing the token right here in the session storage. Now, if he clicks remember me, it will be stored in the local storage. So first of all, let's log out. And it was joe at joe.com. Let's put his password. Now here you get the indicator. So let's log in. And notice it's in the local storage also, and as well in the session storage. So now the user is remembered. So next time when he will access the app, he, he will be logged in right on, right on the spot. Okay, so now let's see the start socializing. So this is where I can create rooms. So I can create an Elixir room, for example, or it's all gonna be down case. I can create PHP room. This is also, this is updated instant and Redux is controlling the state. Redux is also con controlling the state of the user, by the way. It's very helpful when you wanna, when you have shared state, Redux is very, very helpful. Otherwise you will find yourself passing props from component to component and it will just confuse everything. So. I'm gonna talk about Redux a little bit more, but just know that it, it does help us in this case. And 
you can see here everything. It's when the user is logging in, we're getting back all the data so we can store it. We can set the user. This is how we set the user in the Redux store. We're getting all back from the backend. So we have these rooms and I can click now on the Elixir room, for example. And on purpose, I had a set timeout before we rendered the messages so you can see the spinner. And let's check this user. Okay, I have it here a user logged in, React Redux. Let's go to the room and notice, you see, I can delete this room, but he can't. So again, this is secured. Only the user that created the room can delete it. So let's go again to the Elixir room. Um, no, let's just make it smaller. Also here, let's go to the Elixir room, make it smaller. And if I type here, uh, hello, you see, React and Redux, because this is the user that typed the message, and hey. Okay, and it's updating real time using the Phoenix channels. Again, I can't say enough good words about how Elixir Phoenix works. The reason I picked it, because now I'm building here an SPA, right? This is a single page application. So it's already hard to build an SPA application. I mean, let's be honest, these things, you know, they're time consuming. So I don't want to, I don't want to have also a backend that will be time consuming. So Elixir is very, makes you very productive. Uh, I'll say that it took me maybe a full day to build the whole, whole of this backend. It took me a full day, maybe. Of course, after I learned and got comfortable with it. But I spend much less time than I spend on this React app. Of course, it's not a fair comparison because here I'm also taking care of the UI, which I'm not doing with Elixir. But all I'm saying is that it takes a lot of worries from you, okay? Look how easy this app is. I mean, you want to delete it. Again, you see, room, room to delete is PHP at index one. Now this is going to be index zero, index zero. So this is how we're sending action to Redux. So this is basically the app, okay? And even notice here, when I hit the update uh, page, it's gonna verify the token all the time. I'm getting this back from the uh, database every time. If I click on the update password, again, because I set these routes to be secured. And I refresh the page, user is still logged in. If I log out, we're gonna go, go check the resources. They are empty. We removed all the sessions, all the tokens, and you can't log in if you're gonna put just fake identification. It's just not gonna work for you, okay? So you've seen how the app works. I hope it makes you feel a little bit excited. I'm excited about this app because, you know, it's like, for me, it's like a level, level up, right? From the previous tutorials that I did. It's secured with, you know, some nice features, nice UI with this whole spinner thing. So in the next part, I'm going to go over the code. I'm going to show you the source code. I added many, many comments so you'll understand how it works. So if you want to go try it by yourself, go ahead. Keep in mind, if you want this to work with Elixir Phoenix, go over the guides and install it. It's very easy to install it. All you need is Erlang, Elixir, and Phoenix, and it's pretty straightforward. As an example, Ruby on Rails took me much more time to install it on my machine than Elixir Phoenix. And I also have a tutorial about Ruby on Rails and a registration system with React Native if you want to take a look. So this, this combination of React and Elixir Phoenix, I really like it, especially also with Redux that helps us to manage our state. So I'll see you in the next part. Please comment below. Let me know if you liked it. And goodbye.